day students and welcome back to watching these videos i hope you all have been watching the previous videos that your teachers have uploaded for you so uh, how is this year going for you all how is 2020 going for you all i know i know it has been full of surprises and full of so many things that it gets very overwhelming so today we'll be talking about something similar something that has been very overwhelming for a lot of people in the past so let's get on watching the video So today we'll be talking about the major disasters that have occurred in the world. And I'm sure you have or uh, you know about some of them, but let's look at a few in detail. So there are two types of disasters as we know, natural disasters and man-made disasters. So what are natural disasters? These are disasters that are caused by natural forces and and they are uh, hardly in any control of man so some common natural disasters are earthquakes landslides floods droughts cyclones tsunamis etc uh these disasters can cause an enormous loss to life and property and so what are man made disasters these disasters are caused by the activities of men the carelessness of humans and are uh, the mishandlings of dangerous equipments and these are called man made disasters some common examples of these are train accidents aeroplane cra crashes collapses of buildings bridges mines etc so the first disaster that we are going to be talking about is some is has a movie that has been made on it it's the titanic disaster that had happened on the 15th of april 1912 they called it the unsinkable ship but on its maiden voyage that is on its first voyage the british luxury steam ship titanic collided with a massive iceberg southeast of newfoundland the ship began to submerge in the icy waters of the atlantic ocean and less than 3 hours later the 883 foot long titanic turned on its end and then slipped into the ocean more than 1500 people died in this disaster so these are a few pictures of the titanic that have been found uh, after the excavation took place years later the next one the fall of the hindenburg which happened on 6th may 1937 the german airship hindenburg burst into flames 200 feet over its intended landing spot at new jersey's Lake Hurst Naval Air Station The majestic ship turned into a ball of flames on the ground in only 34 seconds So you can see how big the ship is and it burst in it burst in 34 seconds and was all in flames These are some uh, live images of that disaster that occurred years ago So the next one were the atom bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. An American B29 bomber called the Enola Gay dropped the first atomic bomb code name Little Boy on the Japanese city of Hiroshima. The explosion killed about 70,000 to 1 lakh people and destroyed about 5 square miles in the state. leveling almost 90% of the city united states dropped another larger bomb code name fat man on nagasaki on august 9th 1945 that killed about 40000 people later later thousands more died of injuries and radiations from the two bombings 
these are uh, the pictures of when the bombings occurred so the next one is the bhopal gas tragedy i think you all have heard of this one so this happened on december on the 2nd and the 3rd of december 1984 in bhopal and it it still sent, uh, sent shivers down the spine of those who were there that fateful, uh, fateful night when the toxic methyl isocarnate gas leak leaked from the factory owned by the U union carbide the gas silently spread out and flooding the this densely populated areas around the factory people woke up and ran outside desperately gasping for the breath only to take in more of the deadly gases many people died in their sleep while others went blind over time several people suffer, suffered from the post trauma disease while many continue to suffer even today this is one of the most deadliest leaks that have happened in the world this is what uh, it looked like that night and how people suffered from the various injuries that had occurred because of this uh, gas tragedy The next one is the nuclear disaster that occurred at Chernobyl. This happened on April 26, 1986. The worst nuclear disaster they call it in history. A reactor blew at a nuclear plant in Chernobyl, Ukraine. The explosion released 8 tons of radioactive material over large parts of the Soviet Union, Eastern Europe, Scandinavia and later western europe so all these gases were leaked into all the surrounding cities and places because of this explosion that took place these are images next one the gujarat earthquake This happened in the year 2001. The Gujarat earthquake is a major tragedy that happened in India. It is also known as the Bhuj earthquake. The this happened on the 26th of Jan 2001 at the village of Chobari uh, uh, in the Kutch of Gujarat. That's India's twenty uh, on India's twenty fifty second Republic Day. Earthquake came on in the morning at around eight forty six a.m. and its period was two minutes. The Interpol Interpolit earthquake reached seven point seven on the moment. magnitude scale and had a maximum felt intensity of x on the mercalli intensity scale after the earthquake police found out the people killed between 13805 and 20000 and 23 and injured about 167000 people and it also destroyed around 4 lakh houses and loss of property uh so this was one of the most deadliest earthquakes that have happened in india the next one is the columbia space shuttle tragedy which occurred on the 1st of february 20, 2003 the columbia space shuttle broke up as it was preparing to land at the kennedy space center in florida 
all seven astronauts on board the shuttle died the tragedy occurred 17 years after the challenger exploded after 73 seconds of lift off all seven people on board died including the nasa astronauts and krista mac mcluffe a school teacher who was the first civilian in space and as you can see kalpana chawla was also part of this expedition she was the first wo uh, woman from india to be part of an expedition that was like this the next one are the killer waves the tsunami that occurred on the coast of india in the indian ocean on the on december 26th 2004 the earthquake generated a tsunami that killed more than 1 lakh 50000 people making it one of the deadliest disasters in the modern history the earthquake originated in the indian ocean just north of one of the islands there of the western coast of northern sumatra indonesia the resulting tsunami devastated the shores of indonesia sri lanka and south india thailand and other countries with waves up to 30 meters high causing serious damages and death between 1 lakh 70000 to 2 lakh 50000 people are thought to have died the earthquake lasted nearly 10 minutes and caused the entire planet to vibrate so it was one of the largest earthquakes that have ever happened under water these are few images of it as you can see the aerial view right here of the water swirling around because of the earthquake that had occurred the next one are the floods that happened in kashmir later in 2014 this uh, it was in the month of september and occurred in a few regions of kashmir like ragauri shrinagar bandipur etc continuous torrential rainfall and swelling of the jhelum river was the cause of this flood and it caused a huge loss to lives of the kashmir region the water of the jhelum river swelled due to the continuous rainfall that is why the water entered into the residential areas of kashmir region the indian army helped a lot of the uh, stranded residents to reach the region around 550 people lost their lives and damage of property was estimated to be around 5000 to 6000 crores of rupees this was a disaster that occurred because of the overflowing of the of a river the next one are the terrorist attacks against the us that is the twin tower attack as we uh, know it which happened on the 11th of september 2001 one of the worst disasters of all time was the september 2011 uh, september 11 2001 terrorist attack against the us hijackers who were the members of al qaeda terrorist group crashed two commercial jets into the twin towers of the world trade center in new york city another hijacked plane crashed into the pentagon in washington dc and a fourth in the field in rural pennsylvania the total number of people who died in the attack was more than number of people who died in the japanese attack on pearl harbor in 1941 so 
there were really a lot of people who died on that day this is what the twin tower looked like before and this is what happened to it uh, while the planes crashed into the towers so the next one is probably a largest the largest indian terror attack that has occurred that was the 2611 in mumbai the 2008 mumbai attack also referred to the 2611 were a series of terrorist attack that took place in november 2008 when 10 members of the lakshar e toiba an extremist islamic terrorist organization carried out 12 coordinated shootings and bombing attacks lasted 4 days across mumbai the attacks which drew widespread global uh, condemnation began on wednesday 26th november and lasted till saturday 29th november at least 7 uh, 174 people died including the nine attackers and more than 300 people were wounded eight of the attackers uh, eight of the attacks occurred in south mumbai at the cst turbinus the first picture shows you that the mumbai chapda house was also part of it the oberoi and trident hotel the taj mahal palace which is uh this one the leopold cafe that is this one the nariman house this the metro cinema the kama hospital and many other small areas by the early morning of the 28th november all sites except for the taj hotel had been secured by the mumbai police the security forces so on the 29th november the india's national security guards conducted operation black tornado to flush out the remaining attackers it culminated in the death of the last remaining attacker at the taj hotel and ended the attacks so it lasted for 4 days and it was a very very long 4 days for those people if you have watched a few documentaries based on this you would get a better idea and i have linked in a few videos as well so when we talk about terrorism what does it mean as we know that man made disasters are the result of human intent error or an uh, or as a result of a failed system they can be divided into categories such as terrorism technological hazards transportation hazards and environmental accidents So terrorism is defined as an act that is violent or dangerous to human life with the intent of furthering political and social objectives. The threat of terrorism affects all communities around the world. Terrorists both domestic and international have de uh, demonstrated they have the knowledge and capability to strike anywhere in the world. so it can be termed as a man made disaster as well let's talk about uh, 2020 now so there have been a lot of incidents that have happened in 2020 not forgetting the pandemic that is still ongoing but i have selected just two which have occurred in india the first one being cyclone amphan Uh, so a powerful it was a powerful and deadly tropical cyclone that caused a widespread of damage 
in the eastern indian specifically west bengal and also bangladesh regions in may 20, uh, may 2020 so this occurred from the 16th of may to the 21st of may 2020 it was the strongest tropical cyclone to strike the ganga delta since 2007 um it was also the third super cyclone that hit west bengal since 1582 so that was a very long time ago that a cyclone like this has occurred in india so the the first tropical cyclone of the 2020 north in indian ocean cyclone season so um uh, amphan originated from a low pressure area persisting a couple of 100 and, uh, 100 miles east of colombo which is in sri lanka on the 13th of may the attacking north east word and uh, distributing the the and the disturbance organized over exceptionally warm sea surface temperatures so this just started in sri lanka on the 13th of may and reached india on the 16th of may the wind speed reached the highest at 260 km per hour during the cyclone which is very 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 strong and fast uh there were a lot of dis- uh, there was a lot of damage that occurred during this cyclone you can see a few images here of how fast the speed was of the wind if you see this image you can see how fast the speed was of the wind the next one was the swarmageddon of locusts uh the country uh, experienced its worst invasion in more than two decades so the worst invasion of locust that has happened since two decades this entered india through the western state of rajasthan on the 13th of may 2020 after being responsible for crop infestation in 2 lakhs 80000 hectares across 13 cr- uh, countries prior arri- arriving to india so it had destroyed around 2 lakhs 80000 hectares of crop in- across 13 countries before it reached india so what are locusts a uh, desert locusts are short horned grasshopper species uh they are the most dangerous migratory pest in the world due to their ability to change behavior and form swarms that consume everything in their path these swarms prefer arid and semi arid areas for their uh, devastation during periods of low density the locust inhabits a broad belt of arid and semi arid land so the, the this is what locusts are and this is what it looked like uh in rajasthan when the locusts attacked uh, their crops so these are few of the incidents that have happened across the world all over these years and two of the major incidents that have happened in india in 2020 so let's hope that none of something like this happens further on and uh, i hope you watched through the whole video and you enjoyed thank you